Welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing the final level of Gajamada, the Pasunda Bubat Tragedy. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. While I was watching the dancers in the Royal Gardens, a plan came to me that will ensure the downfall of the Sunda. An arranged marriage between my king and one of their princesses will cause the Sunda to lower their guard. I will then force them, under threat of destruction, to submit to my king's rule. It is a plot worthy of the cunning Cancel. My king has ordered me to go to Bubat Square in our capital to welcome the princess and escort her and her family to our palace. For my plan to succeed, not even the king can know of the plot. Yeah, the Sunda no -no. will protest, but with their whole royal family in our city, surrounded by my soldiers, they will have no choice mm. but to submit. Not sure I like this. Not sure I like this. Okay. Our main objectives are to kill all of the Sunda royal fighters in the capital. Our hints tell us that Gajamanda's army is restricted to a population limit of 125. Indian traders are nearby to trade at the Majapahit capital of Chwawulan. Their docks are open for trade and they are selling Persian war elephants to anyone who has gold. The bandits in this region can be a real nuisance. Their raids will not stop until their camps are destroyed. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Sunda will be able to train more units using Trawulan's infrastructure. We need to capture these buildings by capturing all the banners, the blue fat flags, in the capital. Gajamada does not allow his army to use siege weapons against his own capital. If we want to break through the walls, we will have to use elephants. Okay, sure. Your scouts report that Gajamada's army in red is sitting in a small fortress south of the capital waiting for news from its emissaries. The fortress is small and has no additional resources, so it will not be able to withstand many attacks. The Majapahit capital of Trawulan in yellow is directly north of our position and is ruled by our king, Hayam Uruk. The king has his palace in the eastern part of the city and is unaware of Gajamada's plans. The Sunda princes in blue in Trawulan are here for the royal wedding and are low in numbers, but since they are already in the city, we will need to find a way in to get to them. Outside of the capital, to the west and north, are several Majapahit villages in purple and army bases in green. When we reach them, they will be turned over to us. Because Gajamada has spent much of his time campaigning, the Javanese bandits in Siam in this region have become very powerful. They are likely to attack us whenever they can. Okay, so we got tons of bandits. I guess it's the bandits that are going to be the main enemy here. We'll have to see. Gajamada demands the subjugation of Sunda to the Majapahit. Here? This is not what we agreed upon. We would rather Here die as free men than Bagindah. live under Majapahit's chain. Here, Baginda. Aku Marwan. Aku Baju. Angkat Sanjata. Yasa Kuka, Baginda. The Sunda have the audacity to defy us. We must find a way to break into the city and kill them. Yeah, yeah, nice, we have the transfer ship in terms of the land. Now, do we have a transport ship of our own? Doesn't seem like it, so it seems like we need to make one. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we have some new main objectives here, or, well, our new secondary objectives, that is. To appropriate a nearby village to support our army and take control of the military base near the capital so I can use it to attack the Sunda in the capital. This western village here. Yasa Kuka 
Yep. Seems like we'll be able to drop some units off right here. Let's not bother building a second transport. I think I'd rather save the wood. Fortified tower up north. I prefer to avoid that if I can as well. I assume that if, once I touch these guys, they'll become my, my allies here. Stop it. Going northwest first will be our best bet here. We can start thinking about going in the other direction later. Sending communities after us. Is very quaint. Yeah, we cannot risk demolishing our own capital, so we cannot use siege weapons. If we want to destroy buildings, we will have to rely on elephants. Yasa Kuka Baba Shasta, Yasa Kuka Baju Kumaru, Anka Sanjata, Yasa Kuka Baba Taperti, Yasa Kumaru. So on the water, our time is limited. Makes it a limited time event. We actually have the champion skin replaced by Legion I guess I'll keep it enabled for this level. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 we almost made it out our own Arvalus there. There are more bandits on the path to the next village. Let my elephant and I help you clear the way. Help is much appreciated. Yeah, 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 I often die as a heroic death here. But the rest of us should be able to make it to this village here. Our southern base will not last long, and our fleet has been destroyed. Yasa we will have a foothold on the island at least. Our village is at your service. Yasa Kumamanda. I am hearing some disturbing rumors. Since I trust you. I will not look for the Maju. Ooh. See, here's here's the here's like the conundrum, right? Because truthfully, I believe that we're in the wrong here. I feel like something's gone gone horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Let's get all our farmers online. Start producing uh, villagers here. Here, Akumar, Akumar, my name. 
actually don't really expect our southern base here to last much longer. Now Gajamana has so much HP that actually sitting him downstairs is going to sit him inside the town center rather is going to take him a long time to heal simply because of the amount of HP that we have he has available. Rotation, continue producing villagers and painting on wood. Yep. Start fighting some more bandits here. It's actually the bandits that have been the most threatening military threat on us so far. Lots of bandits coming in from all directions. Now, fortunately, it seems we're able to repel them for the time being. Turn our motors to work. Keep producing more. Oh, did I just almost conjure two of my villagers? That would be bad. We're just getting tons and tons of pressure on the right all the time. Our southern base is going to get cleaned up soon. Lots of wood. Uh, we need to build a place for building too. Do I have a blacksmith here? I actually do. Let's take this time to pick up an upgrade. Let's grab a remarcher armor. And think about getting arbalests here. Do we get arbalests? Yes, we do. We do get arbalests here. That's pretty nice. Our southern base is doomed to die soon. We should yeah. think about uh, securing ourselves a source of. Stone and a source of gold. Because right now I don't really see much of either. There's a gold pile to the southeast here. 
I think having a squad yep. of Arvalesters and Elephants would be very useful. Turn on farm auto reseed. Keep turning out bills. Put out a luck cow. Let's uh, build a. Oh, there's a stone pile down here. Let's build a second town center. Papa Shasananya Baginda. I've got no gold. Yasu Papa Baginda. I'm going to be unable to replace my villagers. Or replace my archers. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have the means to produce some light cavalry here. Let's keep turning out uh, villages here. And if you're confused as to why you're seeing legionaries in a Malay campaign, I totally understand. Send a scout to scout around a little bit. I noticed there's no actually there's actually no auto scout on the white cavalry here. Of those guys are going to be on their way to the bills. Yasaku Penumpang Kayu. Looks like we need some more housing. Happy to provide that. Send our villagers back to work. Yeah, yeah, more houses, more houses. Looks like there's a banded camp to the north there. And our base in the south is well and truly trounced. I want to get enough stone here so that I can build a castle. That's when I don't feel yeah. truly safe about the situation. Send the villagers back to work, take out these skirmishers. I guess we can take out the tents to see if they actually have an effect. And we'll be living off the light cavalry for the time being. Let's grab ourselves a replacement blacksmith here. As well as a new university. Yeah, 
lots of food and lots of wood now. Get Let's get a bracer. Let's get a bracer. Let's set up a few ranges. Get some more farm set up. More wood choppers. Let's grab chemistry here. Akumarwa. More houses would be nice. Yeah, our, our southern base is well and truly screwed here. I need to figure out where I want this castle. Oh, like right here would be good. Ooh. There's like an interesting looking rock pile that seems to be able to give some stone. Let's build a mining camp there and see if they gather from it. Put you guys on wood. Put you on a farm. That attack was fairly easy to repel. Let's pick up uh, our bluster for the golden wood. Food and wood, that is. Send our villagers back to work. We have blasters for our cavalry. See if we can mine that stone. If we can't, we'll just try to chop our way to it. Now we've got a castle up. So we should theoretically be in much better shape. Let's pick up a monastery. Grab conscription. Keep training the right cavalry here as defenses. So it does look like we need to chop that area out before we can try. Short on food, let's fix You're telling me that boats can access this area? Are you joking me right now? Well, that's very unfortunate. Yeesh. If that's the case, then maybe my castle placement was not so good. Gold. Let's also pick up a market. And they're gonna send cannon aliens at us? Really? Yeah. Uh, castle. We're not allowed to use traps either. Let's go a couple stables. Let's try to take out the cannon galleons. And let's actually bust down the tents too. The tents are Basically, housing units. Yes, I'm 
Yeah, and it seems like they, they got produced from somewhere, right? So it must be, yeah, it must be the tents that are actually producing the enemies. If that's the case, then I really should have been much more diligent about destroying these. <laughs> I like how we got a boat. If the guys are coming from the tents, then we definitely need to destroy the tents. Unless they come, like, limitlessly, in which case, that's just kind of straight up dumb. I've destroyed a bandit encampment and found Luke. Nice. Okay, so we are rewarded for destroying the encampment. Let's sally forth and find some more encampments then. We aren't allowed to create uh since we aren't allowed to create uh, siege units. We actually uh are in pretty bad shape now. I destroyed a bandit encampment and I don't really see any more reason to even research siege over here. Let's uh, pick up Force Levy and start building some barracks. Force should be good enough for the time being. So we're out of gold. Let's try to mine some more up here. Fine with those boats taking out my mining camps. Let's just make sure that we have no more bandits hiding about. Let's pick up plate armor. We're out of gold. This is why our main force is light cavalry for the time being. Start mining stone. Yasakuka Baginda, Apa Shasana Baginda, what? Yea Baginda, Apa Baginda, what? Starting to hit some population caps here. Our military camp can be of use to you. It is yours. This Sunder are our guests. I will not tolerate any harm being done to them. Cease your activities now. The king does not know what is best for Majapahit. We support Baginda. you, Gaja, but we must hurry. Okay, I didn't realize that this would trigger a time limit here. Upper Shasana Oh, 
suasananya bagi ya aku marwat aku ya aku ya bagi so we actually straight up have to just use elephant snuff on these gates i guess Seriously, not allowing us to use uh, siege weapons is a massive blow here. I guess that means that means that certain items were much more valuable than I had initially given them credit for. Now we can't create anymore. Now I don't think that I'll be able to finish the job of the King at. We'll just have to see what happens. Let's get a few more barracks out here. The first levy. We want to pick up a, another market soon. Get a kill so that our trigger is a little bit better. Oh, there goes our onager. Got 12 minutes before the king acts. Let's send Gajamata in as well. I guess we could have used P-Tars on the gates, huh? That probably would have been the smart thing to do. Well, you live and you learn. We're about to break our way in. Alright, we made our way in. Out of stone, but let's build a 
castle in here? Yeah, 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 what actually allows us to get more of the city here. So we need to capture those flies where we can. Let's turn around and kill those bandits here. And we can actually create bombard cannons. So, alright. I mean, yeah, that yeah, seems yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, uh, contradictory yeah, 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 to what was originally said in this scenario, but okay. There are more of the city that we need to capture here. Gaja Mada has been wounded in battle and has to recover. However sad it may be, he wishes that we continue this fight. No worries, as long as he's still alive. Gold. Sell off our excess wood. And I guess that means it is worth it for us to pick up uh, siege engineers here. Okay, so now we got a bunch of fighters. Okay, so now we got a bunch of fighters. Yeah, so we got a bunch that is a lot of enemies. Where are the royal fighters? I don't think we're going to be able to complete our task before uh, the king reacts. So I guess what remains to be seen is what the king's reaction is going to be. Let's uh, actually pick up Haber Deer so we can start creating those.
Apa kesalahannya, Baginda? Ya, Baginda. We captured a good portion of the city, just not the whole city. Apa kesalahannya, Baginda? Ya, aku bakal maju. Ya, aku bakal maju. I guess now all that remains is to see what the reaction is going to be. I somehow don't think that this will be the end of the campaign, by the way. Goodness gracious, we just got completely eviscerated. Yeah, but I'm not going to die. 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 I wonder what the king's reaction is going to be. I wonder if that's, uh, in the end, that's going to be the yeah, end of our yeah. career here. Yeah, 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 Apa syarahnya baginda? Ia baginda. Angkat senjata. Ya satu angkat senjata. We should try to finish off this bandit camp in the top left. They are going to prove to be a pretty big annoyance here. Apa syarahnya? Ia baginda. Tapi. Uh, the timer's passed, so whatever happens, I'll pass it quickly. Yes, aku marwa. Apa syasananya baginda? Aku pengerti. Aku marwa. Yes, aku ke baginda. Ya, baginda. I don't know what the king's reaction is. We are still alive. So I can only imagine that we're still okay. Ya saku ka baginda. Ya baginda. Ya baginda. Apa syarahnya baginda? Ya saku ka baginda. Ya angkat senjata. Ya saku ka baginda. Ya angkat senjata. Apa syarahnya baginda? Apa syarahnya baginda? Still a few more barracks in here actually. Siap, siap. Along with light cabs, just a cool pile in this yeah, of the yeah, city for us to yeah, capture. So but it does seem like uh, we've yet to kill all the royal fighters. There's a lot of gold here, in fact. I don't know what all this is about, Gajimata, not letting us build siege. Because it seems like we got plenty of siege to share. The rest of the world here. Very good. That's the castle down as well, which is nice. Yeah, 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 I don't really know what to do with my tarts. I guess we can send them in. <laughs> I, I don't know what the king's reaction is supposed to be because I haven't, I haven't seen one. Yeah, 
Iya, aku mengerti. Apa sih aku mengerti? Aku marah. Aku mengerti. I think the most, uh, the biggest thing holding us back here is actually going to be the population cap. I'm going to figure out a way to get the stone to uh, build another castle on the shoreline so I can clean up um, the blue ships that are nearby. Aku 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 yeah, so the king was supposed to react here. Oh, it seems that that uh, actually now that the king is capable of producing Let's just change the dynamic just a little bit. Let's pick up a lead battle elephant, why not? We got a few of those running around, the population efficient. Should we get the chance? Long gold. Let's sell off some more wood. Let's sell off some food. Yeah, Oh, and there, there's the Sunda warriors that we haven't taken care of yet. That's Yasa Aku pengerti. Aku pengerti. Angkat senjata apa I don't know where it is we should be purchasing these elephants. Really just turning two handed swordsmen into, into the right meat grinder there. Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not
Fortunately, with Force Levy, we actually don't need too much gold. There's another super rare fighter. Uh, I guess this just becomes like a, mit a meticulous close of the city. What doesn't really make sense to me is why there's so many Sunda Royal fighters inside our capital city. Unless I read that wrong and have been thoroughly misinformed. Surprised the boats are in the grass or village. In the case of Moonwalking, I really should le relearn which uh, yeah, what my idle military yeah. unit button is again. Yeah. What is that, my friends? Let's try to capture this next section of the city. As we do so, our main job can get easier. And man, with melee, it really is just a grind. We have tons of food to spare. We will have tons of food for the foreseeable future. So there's really nothing at all besides the pop cap from only his back. Also beginning to wonder how big this city is. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot of battle elephants. We're gonna need Halbs up the wazoo for that. Okay, somehow there's an Onager here as well. Yes, 
Oh my god, he's got force development. We're gonna get annihilated. This is a wave after wave of absolute nuttiness. Yes, I wish it would tell us how many royal fighters were left. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, Angkat Sanjata. Let's get more battle offense of our own out here. That's really these royal fighters down here that I'm the most worried about. The wave of elephants has actually been somewhat stemmed. Yep. Let's send some more villagers forward so that we can rebuild pieces of our, our base that get obliterated by the city. Now, in order to be population efficient, let's uh, use battle elephants here. Got a few more bombard cannons as well. That's a big force of 200 swordsmen. But our population is actually slowly replenishing here. And we are replacing them with more battle elephants instead of garbage units. I 
Aku marah. Aku pembangun gedung. Aku pembangun. Aku pembangun gedung. Iya, aku ya, baginda. Aku ya, baginda. Aku pembangun. Having to cross all the way yeah, on this truck line over here on the right is pretty annoying. Let's try it. There's one more flag here, and it seems like the city doesn't extend too much further. So we're almost there, I think. Is there anything else on our hints? Indian traders are nearby to trade. Their docks are Persian war elephants. I guess we have to we have to discover them. Apa syasananya baginda? Ya sabunda baginda. Aku pengen aku marwan. But man, this has really just become a grind. We're low on food. Tons of coats over here. We lost all of our villagers. Now we have no more sorts of cool. Ugh! Gotta say, not a big fan of this mission. Yeah. Unless there's some big secret to be had. I really don't see what the point of it is. It's just one long slog fest. Until uh, one side runs out of resources completely. It actually even seems like we're being outlasted here. It's all because of our cruddy population space, honestly. We have killed the Sunda princess. Oh. Aja has completed his oath. Okay. I mean, somehow we, we just killed the last one. Sure. You had better come see me now, Aja. Lest to be declared an enemy of the state. And... <laughs> Just like that, uh, I guess we're done. Um, I don't know where, I don't know where that last final prince was, but I guess, I guess I'm happy that he came out to came out to play. Because if he didn't, oh look at how painful this would have been, if he didn't come out like this. The masses of uh, elephants here. I guess the key to winning the scenario then in a less painful manner is. To make sure that by the time you attack, you're actually fully ready to attack. Um, this way, 
uh, you'll be able to um, capture as many blocks of the city as possible. There's this one right here. That probably would have helped a lot, a lot. But truthfully, it's really just the stables. I guess it's this one is a is the key deciding factor. And I think there's a flag here as well. So if you can like capture the city quickly, this level is not so painful. Um, but if you're unable to capture the city quickly, oh my gosh, you're in for a slugfest with your population cap limit there. Yeah, and in the end, uh, it definitely seems like going the northern way is the way to go. I don't know where the boats keep spawning from, but I guess the boats keep... I really, I'm really not sure. I'm just glad that these guys just decided to sit here in the end and not do much. And I suppose these must be... Yeah, these must be the Indian traders that we're talking about. I guess that uh, if we suppressed, if we saved our navy here, we uh, also would have been able to set up a trade route between uh, the Indian docks and our docks on this island over here. Um, and that would have been a steady income of gold. That would have made the level a bit easier as well. But as it is, you know, making sure that you push aggressively and quickly seems to be the name of the game here. And I think we did reasonably okay. Um, I think the key, like the key, key sections to capture would be the, the sections with the stables. Because I can deal with champs, I can deal, I can deal with two handed swordsmen, I can deal with like arbalesters and whatnot. Um, but I definitely cannot deal with this amount of battle offense. We got a bit lucky. At first, all went according to my plan. My army surrounded the Sunda royal family, and I ordered them to surrender their weapons. I was convinced that they would comply. To my surprise, instead of surrendering, the Sunda drew their weapons and attacked my army, even though they were vastly outnumbered. I tried in vain to stop the fighting, but the Sunda were destroyed, and my plot crumbled to dust. My own king and his family, the family that I have spent my entire life serving, were disgusted by my actions. When the king summoned me, I could see the disappointment and loathing in his eyes. In tears, he told me that his bride-to-be had committed suicide and that I had ruined the reputation of our empire. Yeah. Many in the Majapahit Empire wanted me dead. But because of my long years of service, the king spared my life. Instead, I was to resign and to withdraw to a small mansion in the countryside. Death would have been a less harsh punishment than having to live with this shame. And so... Here I am, a lonely old man, once ambitious and young, now trapped in this secluded place. I realized that I was not clever like the cancer, but rather greedy and blind, like the animals that it misleads. The assassination of the first king, the removal of the prime minister, all of the schemes that I planned and conspired, I let nothing come in the way of my ambitions. And now, I pay the price. Ooh. Yeah, so that's a, that's a sobering story about Gajamata, I guess. Uh, I hear, I've heard the term of this, this leader in uh, games like Civilization V and whatnot. Um, and I, I, he was a representative of Indonesians. I, I don't know much about the history, but I guess I'll have to look it up a little bit more. Um, what's really chilling is that those last few phrases seem to indicate that the other events that happened throughout these five campaign levels were also his own machinations. And uh, it gives me 
some throwbacks to uh, Autocar, uh, where the greed and ambition of of the narrator ends up being the downfall. Uh, or rather, not not the narrator necessarily, but uh, the main character. Um, nice set of missions overall what i liked about them is that they highlight the strengths of the uh, malay very well they highlight the fish traps they highlight the, the force levy they highlight the strength of the navy they highlight the harbors um and also they highlight the uh, use usefulness of spamming the unique unit the crampet warrior and for all these reasons i actually think that this campaign is pretty well done uh, things that I don't like about the campaign, um, the levels are very grindy. A good portion of the gameplay is mostly just like endless unit spam until you can, you know, make some headway. If you're a slow player, uh, like I am, you'll definitely have some trouble with this mission. The faster you are as a player, the easier these levels will be for you, especially that last one. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, you know, good narration, good storytelling, uh, good introduction to the Malay, Malay as a civilization. The levels highlight the strengths of the Malay and explores the unique unit. The levels are actually pretty unique, like the naval ones. I like having a couple levels out there that have naval focus. Um, and they didn't really overdo it. So a lot of people don't really think much of these, the Gajamata campaign, but I actually think it was all right. In any case, my name's been The Clever Fool. I guess next time we'll be starting Saladin. But until then, see you guys next time.